Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. In this video I'm basically going to be laying out clearly what the end game goals are for this account, the journey to max on my main account. Now pre-warning, uh, at the time of recording this, this is January 16th 2021, uh, there are going to be clips and pieces of progression and things in this video that haven't actually aired in the main YouTube series yet. Nothing particularly major but there will be little things so just be pre-warned that there may be a, a spoiler or two in there and uh yeah let's let's jump into what my 10 goals are really 10 main end game goals for the account and the series number one the champions challenge the champions challenge consists of gathering 10 champion scrolls from various monsters and enemies all across runescape and then turning those challenge scrolls in at the champions guild in order to fight the well, the champions of those specific races. We have three at the moment, which are the Skeleton Champion Scroll, the Imp Champion Scroll, and the Giant Champion Scroll, with seven more to go. Those other seven being the Goblin, the Zombie, the Hobgoblin, the Ghoul, the Earth Warrior, the Joker, and the Lesser Demon. And then after you complete all those, you finally get to fight the Human Champion, Leon de Coeur, and when you kill him, you'll unlock the Human Champion Scroll. You never actually get the item, but you unlock it in the collection log. And you get the pretty cool Champion's Cape. By the way, the background footage used for this clip is from Automology on YouTube. It's not mine, just to give credit. Oh, and uh, P.S. Every single one of these is only obtainable at a drop rate of 1 in 5,000. Which is actually rarer than a lot of the pets in the game, so... I'm sure you can imagine what kind of an experience it's going to be grinding for these things. Number two, all Slayer Helm recolors, excluding the Inferno Slayer Helmet, which is coming with the new Combat Diaries. I have two Slayer Helm recolors already, being the Vorkath Helmet and the Hydra Helmet. In addition to that, then, I need the King Black Dragon Helmet, which is the black one, the Calphite Queen Helmet, which is the green one, the Abyssal Demon Head Helmet, which is the red one, the Scotizo Helmet, which is the purple one, and the Twisted Helmet, which is the one with the horns there at the left-hand side of the screen. Now, I have the heads already to make the KBD one, which is great. I just need to go and get the heads for all the rest. Now, you have to imbue these Slayer Helmets as well, or at least that's my goal, is to have them all imbued and all usable and interchangeable whenever I want. It costs one and a quarter million Nightmare Zone points in order to imbue a Slayer Helmet, so they're certainly, certainly not cheap there. Uh, so it would take six and a quarter million points altogether in order to imbue all the ones that I currently have left. However, I have one and a quarter million already stocked up, uh, so five million more Nightmare Zone points to imbue all these helms, but again, I gotta get the drops to make them first. Oh, and PSS, it also takes 1,000 Slayer points per helm to unlock the ability to make them, so... Yeah. Number three, to fill the Borrows collection log. Now, by the way, these goals are in no particular order. All right, just, just to throw that out there. But the items that I still need to finish my Borrows log are the Carol's top, bottom, and crossbow, Arim's top and staff, Darok's helm, legs, and great axe, Guthan's helm, Torag's hammers, and the full Verax set, so the helm, the brassard, the plate skirt, and the flail. So we've got quite a lot to do there. Now, in fairness, for a main account of my level, 305 Barrows chests isn't a lot to have done. But there's still a hell of a long way to go, so hopefully, I'm hoping I fill it before 1,000. I hope you guys share me in my, my positive optimism. Number four, getting the milestone rewards for every tier of clue scroll. So first up is beginner clues, which gives you the explore emote for completing 600 of them. Currently, I need to do 548 more beginner clues in order to reach that quantity, but that's fine because as we touched on before with uh, regards to the champions challenge, we're about to have to kill a hell of a lot of goblins. So let's hope that the beginner clues are forthcoming. Next, on to the easy clues, which gives you the giant spade upon completing 500 easy clues, which I mean essentially is just a giant equipable spade, except you can't dig with it for some reason. Jagex, can you, can you fix that, please? Anyway, this one is a bit of good news. I actually, as of right now, only have to do 19 more easy clues in order to unlock this one. Medium clues then, so for completing 400 medium clues, you unlock the Clueless Scroll, 
which basically is just a clue scroll that you can hold in your hand. Cosmetic item, but it's nice uh, either way. At the moment, we only have 32 more medium clues to go to unlock that one, and medium clues, I would say, are probably most people's favorite, you know, because ranger boots live there, so. Fair enough, I'm looking forward to finishing off the 32 more of these. Hard clues then, so for completing 300 hard clues, you unlock an emote where you can transform into Mr. Uri, who we've all met many, many times throughout our clue scroll journeys in RuneScape. And uh, yeah, it's a fun emote. Uh, I don't really know if I prefer the emote rewards or the actual cosmetic item rewards. I suppose it's probably nice that there's a mixture of both, but I have 128 more hard clues to go to reach this one, so I'm over halfway, which isn't bad. And I mean, hard clues tend to make you pretty good money as well, so again, quite looking forward to getting stuck into that grind. Elite clues, everyone's favorite. So 200 elite clues unlocks you the heavy casket, which essentially looks like an elite clue scroll reward casket. Only it's a large, heavy looking thing that you carry with two hands and have a specific new walk animation while you are carrying. Now, I have 149 more elite clues to do in order to unlock that, so barely a quarter of the way there. But again, the elites could be mimics, could be some juicy stuff in there, but probably not. Last, but certainly not least, is Master Clues. Completing 100 Master Clues gives you the Scroll Sack. Again, it's a cosmetic, equipable item shown on screen right now. And at this moment in time, <laughs> I have 93 more Master Clues to do. So I've only done 7, and uh, that one might take a little bit of time. Number 5. The Shared Potion of the Collection Log. Now, I'm hoping quietly that by completing... The previous sections, or at least parts of the previous sections, that I'm going to passively complete this part. I have 48 out of 49 items in the shared collection log, and all I need to finish it is Zamorak page 1. It has eluded me so far with a total number of opened clues of over 1,000. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get that Zamorak page 1. Soonish. Number 6. I want to get high score kill count on every boss in the game, excluding challenge mode raids, theater of blood, and the inferno, because I suck. The ones that I still have to get then are Callisto, the wilderness bear that I've never killed, the Great Olm or Chambers of Zarek, I only have a few kill count there, the Chaos Fanatic, probably pretty close to high scores, Commander Zilyanya, who I've only killed once, Corporal Beast, who I've never killed, the deranged archaeologist, who I've never killed, General Gordor, I've killed around 20 times. Calphite Queen, I believe I've killed four times, I think. Kriara, who I have killed once. Krill Tutsaroth, I think I've killed him maybe five times. And the Nightmare, who I have never, ever killed before. Uh, next up is Obor, who I think I've killed maybe once. Scorpia, probably also once. The Corrupted Gauntlet, that one is definitely once. Jad, that's also a once. Next then is Venonatus, one of the ones I'm looking forward to least. Never done it before. Vedion, I've got a few kills there and hated every second of it. Zolcano again, got like 4kc. And finally, Zolra. One kill count there, mage only for the diary. Number 7. It is to finish up some collection logs that are very near to being finished. The first one is the Hydra collection log. I'm missing only the pet at 1,223 kill count. Next is Sire, I'm missing only the head and the final bludgeon piece at 753. And finally, the Grotesque Guardians, I'm missing only the jar at 725. Number eight is to complete all the diaries and therefore get the Achievement Diary Cape. So the main things that I need to finish all the diaries that are still outstanding is 91 Smithing for the Ardoin Elite Diary and 90 Agility for the Ardoin Elite Diary. Now, minus five levels from those if I'm going to Stew Boost, but I might not, or I might. I'll have to just see how I feel at the time. Other levels that I'm only one, two, maybe three levels away from the requirement, I'm not including in this list, because I can just boost to them thoughtlessly. For the Desert Elite Diary, I still need to get 91 Thieving. Again, you can take five off that for the boost. For the Falador Elite Diary, I need 88 Rune Crafting. Again, five levels less. For the Kandarin Elite Diary, I need 86 Herblor, 90 Smithing. For the Karamja Elite Diary, I need 91 Rune Crafting. That one's probably going to be last. For the Mauritania Elite Diary, I need 96 Fishing. For the Varok Elite Diary, I need 89 Smithing and 90 Herblor. And for the Wilderness Elite Diary, 
I need 90 smithing. So obviously you can minus 5 from any of those if you're including the maximum possible stew boost. Uh, but again, I'm undecided as to whether I will boost or not. At the end of the day, the series and the account is aiming all towards goal number 10, which is, well, maxing. But we'll talk about that in a second. Number 9. This goal is to obtain the music cape. I have 33 tracks still to unlock. Those are the alternative route track from the Tunnel of Chaos, 12 songs from Theatre of Blood, the song from the Corporal Beast boss room, two songs, I believe, from the Nightmare boss room, Brew Hoo Hoo from Port Pasmatis Brewery, Brewery, I thought I already had that, Bubble and Squeak from the Keldigan Rat Pits, Chickened Out from the Evil Chicken's Lair, A Dangerous Game from the Wilderness Slayer Cave, a song called Elven Seed, which is from a little town outside of Prif, Four different songs from the Sorceress's Garden minigame, a song called In Between from Dondekin's Mine in Keldegrim, the soundtrack from the Inferno, the soundtrack called Lagoon from being underwater at Fossil Island, the two songs from Last Man Standing, two songs from Soul Wars, two songs from the Hallowed Sepulchre, and finally a song called Lava Is Mine from the Volcanic Mine. All of those pretty much are pretty easily obtainable, I just have to spectate a TOB to get those ones and everything else should come into place quite nicely I hope. Number 10. Maxing. I already let it slip a little bit ago but I mean it's right there in the name of the series Journey to Max right? My current 99s are Fletching, Cooking, Hit Points, Attack, Strength, Defense, Fire Making and Wood Cutting. So I have 8 99s right now. We still gotta pull out the 99s and all the rest of the skills to get that juicy ass max cape. Now it's probably going to take a while, let's be honest. Probably quite a long while. But obviously it is the end game goal of the entire series. So, with the season, with the account, with the series, with the content. I'm going to be trying, as of right now, from this upload onwards. To make it more of a, a narrative, structured approach. So please consider this video not only as the channel trailer on the YouTube page. Hello, by the way, anybody who's new. This video is the channel trailer now. But also, consider this as the introduction to Season 2 of The Journey to Max. From now on, things are going to be more structured, more directly lined up with one of those goals there, okay? There'll still be a few more episodes of Season 1 still to come from things that have already been recorded. But Season 2 is on its way. This is the trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope the information in this gave uh, more of a clear idea to you what my goals going forward are and the kind of things that I'm going to be grinding hard for in the near future. And uh, if you like the sounds of it, folks, I would massively appreciate it if you hit the like button, chuck that subscribe button so that you get notified when I upload in the future. And uh, I'm going to stop talking now because I have a lot to do. See you guys around.